here with Wendy, and we are going to speak about her poem. So, Wendy, where did the idea for your piece come from? Um, well, I don't know. I'm just really into lovey-dovey things. Elaborate that, a little bit. And the idea from it came from, I don't know, a previous crush I had, and my first kiss, and I don't know, it was just strange. Like, my experience with that, that's where it came from. Hmm. Talk, oh wait, you already did. Talk about the influences on your piece a little more. Literally or otherwise. Well, that is my Such influence. as, how did this whole first kiss really go into your uh, poem? How did you emanate that Well, it didn't really happen poem? the way I put it in my poem. Like, I didn't glide noses or anything like that. So I just kind of made some stuff up to make it funny. But other than that... Do you think you got that? Do you think people will read your poem? And get that that didn't happen? No. Okay. So, do you think you approached your piece with any prejudice? Do you know what prejudice means? No. Any concept, like preconceptions of. No. No, you didn't? No. Okay. So, talk about the language that you use. What were you trying to do with it? What techniques did you use? In some parts I was trying to rhyme, I don't know if I got that, <laughs> but I tried. Um, I tried to use, uh, what is it called? Imagery. So you could visualize it. That's pretty much it. Did writing this change your perspective in any way? For example, change your perspective on the subject you were writing about, or on writing itself, or anything? Um, Hate writing poems. Why Change is that? Mind. Because I don't like I don't like writing. Well, I do like writing sometimes, but it's always in my head, and I never like to. So it's not really writing; it's that you don't express it, right? I don't like expressing. Oh, uh, why is that? Because it's too much work. Too much work. Yes. You I'd, don't get I'd any glorification talk. from it. No, I'd rather not. Writing talk. a good poem and having somebody read it and say, "Wow, that was amazing." No, because sometimes I don't know what words to use. Well, don't you think, though, that if you used, like, if you wrote a poem, that it'd be a little easier to be able to, to write? <laughs> no. Not really. Alright, how did the collaborative process, the workshop, influence your piece? Well. Or how it came out, or whatever. For this poem, I didn't really get it workshopped. Well, I turned it in, but I didn't really get workshopped, so didn't really help. <laughs> okay. So what's up next for you creatively? What can we see from Wendy in the next five years? Next five years? No, I'm kidding. What, what are you doing? With I learned that I like to write um, stories better than I like to write poems. So maybe I'll write a story. Another story? What would, what would this be about? Give us a little uh, no. Give a little, a little it's preview. A, a little preview. Yeah. It's a non-trailer story, non and I can't tell you because it's been personal. A little bit, just a little bit. It's just about how I am a horrible person. You're a horrible person. <laughs> Everyone's a horrible person. <laughs> Even Jesus. Even right. Jesus. Okay. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you. Peace.